For those of us standing here today, we don't have to imagine this woman. We've all lived with her and we all love her. Those experiences that I talked about are our experiences. This woman I've been speaking about is our mother. I, Anise Parker, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office, the duties of the office of mayor of the city of Houston, of mayor of the city of Houston, to work with you on the pressing issues and challenges we face is my mission. We're going to stay aggressive in targeting illegal guns, drugs, and gangs. We have made a pledge to make our city safer. The ordinance passes 11 votes to 6 votes. Every Houstonian needs to be aware that human trafficking exists in our community. The city of Houston wants to be the city that takes care of its veterans. the soul, the courage of our mother and your mayor, I'm proud to present to you Mayor Anise Parker. To the kids, I want to say thank you very much. That was lovely. Jovan, thank you. And to the girls. Uh, hard on the mascara, but, but uh, good, good, good for the heart. Uh, I also want to <clears throat> acknowledge that I'm joined today by my wife, Kathy Hubbard, and it feels really great to be able to say that. Uh, Today is actually is April 16th, and Kathy, as a, as a small business owner who's had her own tax practice for 25 years, uh, usually this event is a few days too early for her to attend, so I'm, I'm glad that, that she could be here. And um, Pastor Harrington, I th thank you for the invocation uh, today. If you uh, 
want to know one of the, the pastors in Houston who has my ear on a regular basis so, and, and advises me, and I appreciate that. I want to thank the number of elected officials who are here, particularly the, the large showing from Houston City Council. While this is a strong mayor system and I uh, have a lot of the authority, policy comes through City Council and I'm always aware of that and I recognize their independence as elected officials and I appreciate their support of the many initiatives that uh, you saw listed on the screen. They would not have happened without the Houston City Council. And a thanks to all of the other public officials who are here. So thank you again. And just as an aside, uh, Barbara Bush, who I, I'm a huge fan of Barbara Bush, and uh, she advised me, we were having lunch sitting next to each other one day, to never say anything about your food preferences, because if you say you like something, that you're going to be served that at a banquet forever after. I am really sorry about the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> just, just, yeah. I want to welcome you here this afternoon, and I thank you for the opportunity for what is really going to be a little bit of a look back over my administration. Today I stand before you for the sixth and final time, and I admit it is a somewhat bittersweet occasion. It is time to celebrate accomplishments, but it's also a reminder to me that my time as mayor is running out. My time to do more is limited. I love this city. I love the people who live here. I love the possibilities available here. And that love has driven every decision I have made as mayor. But I want to talk to you first about my Houston. I talk about Houston a lot. I've had an unprecedented amount of media attention as mayor, and it's given me an unparalleled opportunity to, to talk about Houston to the world, to talk about my city to the world. And I want you to take note of that. I, I talk about it as my Houston. I talk about it as my city. I was born here and I have spent all my adult working life here in Houston, but it's not my city because of that. As mayor, I'm the public face and voice of the city. I perform ceremonial duties, I provide routine information, I give crisis communications. It's my city for far more than that. In a strong mayor city, I not only lead the city, but I run the city. But it's my city in more ways than that, too. I'm really not talking about my public role at all. Each of us has a way of knowing Houston as mine. And that may be the best thing about my city. And that is that it's your city. It's her city. It's his city. It's their city. It's our city. It has nothing to do with birthplace. It isn't about how long one has lived here. It's not about the jobs we hold. It's not about what language we first spoke. As we become Houstonians, as we become hers, we each know Houston as ours. <laughs> 